It was a devastating story. Five cyclists killed when a truck crashed into them from behind. Now police body cam video has been released of the truck driver tearfully telling cops he fell asleep. But authorities say he also had meth in his system. It's just released body cam video of a truck driver moments after a horrifying crash that killed five bicyclists. I guess I fell asleep because I don't remember it. I just remember hitting those people. Jordan Varson tearfully recounted to authorities what just happened on the Nevada highway. You don't remember anything? You just woke up to... Yeah. What exactly? To, to seeing bikers? He's given a field sobriety test. Watch as Jordan stumbles, holding onto his truck for support. I'm just feel shaking. It's authorities now say a high level of methamphetamine was found in Jordan's system. He says he was on his routine courier route when he fell asleep crashing into the bikers. Five cyclists died at the scene. At least, at least 15 bicyclists that were hit by it. People are not moving. There's bodies on the ground. They were a part of a group of friends on a yearly 135 mile adventure called the Nipton Loop, taking them from Nevada into California and back again. Now this trucker will have a lot of explaining to do in court. I guess I fell asleep. The truck driver is facing multiple charges, including five counts of DUI resulting in death. It's a little bit windy, honey. It's a dog walk in the North Pole. Listen to that howling wind. And just getting out the door is a major feat in itself. We need a lot of stuff before we can go. Cecilia Blumdahl put some reflectors on her pooch in case he darts away in the pitch black darkness, which right now lasts 24 hours a day. Next is all about layers because we're talking cold, 12 below zero cold. First, she puts on snow pants, then a scarf, next a hat, and of course, a big thick jacket. I'm ready to head out. <laughs> Cecilia has lived here for five years, and I just had to ask. Of all the places you could live in the entire world, why would you live near the North Pole? There is so much incredible nature here, and the village is full of interesting people, and we're all kind of here for the same reason. We love nature and exploring, and we get to live in this incredible place. There's one big plus. You don't have to worry about social distancing.